for the Supreme title at the Collision Course. So this is the number one match for the Supreme title. The next match we have will be Mr. Otis standing to my left here. He's gonna be fighting Armani. So we will have a possible new Supreme Champion or we'll, Armani will go into Collision Course defending again because uh, Armani has had a great title reign. So Otis has a lot on the line here because win the match, the next win? match against Armani will be the new Supreme Champion. And what if one of his boys right now, Douglas or Backyard, win? He'll have it on easy street because he'll not only will be Supreme Champion, but one of his guys will be fighting for him but against him. So he could literally maybe have the match play out against him. There are some extra factors here. Torque, I haven't seen one. It's been quite a while, been a few months, but uh, former hybrid champion is definitely knows how to win the big match. One of his biggest wins is the past and present by Royal at the hundred And then you also got Bouncer, who has been nothing but a thorn in the side of this uh, Southern Discomfort faction led by Bobby Owens. In fact, it was the, the Supreme Invitational just, uh, just a show ago where Otis won uh, that number one contendership for any time he wanted and he showed it today. We also got the return of Taylor Made tonight. Uh, he's joined the challenge for TJ Price's heavyweight championship. He's accepted the open challenge. So we will see Taylor and TJ lock it up Here's into a cover right now. Only a two. Backyard, two-time Supreme Champion in his own right. Would love to fight for that belt again. Not a tag match, do it. Otis, Bobby Otis is calling 2014 the year of the Otis. He's got he's got his whole faction going on. Members, two of them in the ring right now, working on bouncer, and then his manager Colonel Biscuits. He already has the hybrid championship this year. He won the 2014 Supreme Invitational. Today he can continue that trend and win the Supreme title. We'll see how that goes. And then the sky's the limit for that. And I will be exchanging words with Zach here later about the, the Dave Dawson attack from a few shows ago. Uh, let's see what he has to say about that. Aaron Douglas gets torque out of the ring right there. Oh, Bouncer misses the splash. Zach here working out in the corner. Here comes Douglas. Right into the corner. Aaron Douglas going on 80 plus shows without missing a single one. Dragon Sleeper by Douglas, right on Becker, teammate. <laughs> Otis is not with the fact that they're fighting each other now, but you know it was going to happen at some point. There can only be one winner. The one time we get a ref that's the right color is dumb as fuck. Let's go. You pay attention to what you're doing. Don't worry about me. Now, Aaron and Beck are going at it. Sweep of the leg. Double axe handle to the gut. And now back the bouncer's up. Torque's still down on the outside. Definitely feeling the effects. Let's go, Aaron. Let's go. Probably I feel not. I don't think it's not my problem. 
Three of these four guys have been Supreme Champions, so they know what it's like to hold ball. In fact, they're also all three former heavyweight champions, so they're all well-established WMW guys. They love from the gold again. Not what it's like to go a long time without holding a championship, and it sucks, and you really want to get back in there. So those number one contenders matches are not what you want to lose at, because you still got another uphill battle. And that's uh, fighting and beating the champion, so. Two big questions. So who will be the number one contender going into Collision Course and who will be the champion going into Collision Course? Could have a whole change of the landscape before the supercar coming up 127. We also, of course, got the six-pack challenge going on, so. Course back in the ring now. Oh, he found, and he's found uh, Aaron Douglas. Big hip toss by Torx. Elbow drop by Backyard on Bouncer. But Torx got control of this match right now. Got uh, Aaron on the surfboard. And he's ducked, he's ducked the kick. Uh oh, look out, Aaron! Jesus, Aaron almost died. Aaron almost died. And now Backyard playing on him uh, awkwardly. She's crazy! Wake up! He's not happy with the bodies he's seen on the ground because two of them are his guys. Wow, I can't believe how close Aaron came to dying on that Jordan suplex. Backer, all backers way almost crushed Aaron's head. He would have popped like. Oh man. Bouncer in a cup. Long two count, but no go for Bouncer. The moonshine coming back this way, trying to wake him up. He's using it almost like smelling salt. Well, I know you love it. Come on, come on drink it. Aaron Douglas has an, uh, an addiction to that shit. He's seen him drink it more than times. Feel better? We actually suspect that might be the reason he teamed up with uh, Orson in the first place. So remember, uh, Becker is now over the property. He has to be here. He's accepted his role, but Aaron came by choice. No, Aaron has been a bit of an off since 2010. Doing some damage to Bouncer, Aaron doing some damage to Fork. You get He's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. Oh, and Torque gets out of there. He's going to sleep. Oh, this is going to be bad. Huge T bone suplex by Torque. And he headbutts back there right off of Bouncer, possibly saving the match for himself. He's hurt. Everyone's hurt. I think Torque above anybody would love him with this match and improve himself uh, with a belt uh, that he's never had before. And Otis gets his Come on, Morty! Get him! Back there doing some, some work now on One of these guys could catch a break right here. Could be over. Aaron is back in there. Double cup. Both men get up and Bouncer cannot keep his fucking on the same life. Damn, player. Big splash by Tor to break that cover up. Crushing Douglas underneath. Mario, you gonna let the cook do that to you? Breaking up the cover and he didn't save his teammate right there in that single four way, so you know he's going to kill him for that uh, one time I had there. Otis is not fucking happy with Aaron Douglas. He's blaming Aaron Douglas for this one. Should have been, he wasn't ready to break up that count. Well, who's the reason why he's more if the back got pinned? Yeah, 
Bowser checking out. Oh, oh.